Good morning, SNMP v3. Today we're going to try and debug with Wireshark some SNMP v3 packets over the wire. And that means decrypting them in Wireshark. So I'm going to use a free tool today from iReasoning. Um, it's a SNMP simulator, 30 day trial. I shouldn't say free. Um, and we're just going to use it for a short while and um, then use their MIP browser, uh, 30 day trial, and get some wire pa uh, SMB v3 packets on the wire and then go through and decrypt them with uh, uh, Wireshark. And that's, you can download from wireshark.org. And you can download these from iReasoning.com. And we're also trying out Camtasia see how that works. So that's our plan. Uh, best laid plans with networking always take twice as much time as you think. So we're going to go to the remote system and we're going to fire up the simulator. This is the eval so it closes in 30 minutes so I better get this done in that time. Do a demo of a Cisco 6500 switch and let's double check what the current IP is. One oh nine. This is all on my local subnet, so we don't have to worry about routers blocking the packets, and I have firewalls turned off on these test systems. So we should have a running simulator, uh, says V2. Okay. Stop that. V2. Today we want to do V3. And in the configuration file is information on V3. Um, that's kind of specific to this application, but it's V3 configuration information. It's got an authentication and privacy password, MD5, new user. So let's save that. Reload agent settings. And restart the agent. So it says it's running. It says it's V3. It's on the local a net, uh, IP address, not a loopback. So hopefully things are okay over here. Now, let's see if we can talk to it. One oh nine. So we want to talk to. The pro version has v3. Username was new user. Authentication. Ah. We want both authentication and privacy. That was at ABC12345. No context name. And we should be good to go with a get next on 1.3 oid. Hey! Wasn't expecting that so easily. So, uh, we're talking. We got something back. Just to be sure, we set it up to be a Cisco. Let's see what the description is. Cisco. Okay. So, that's working. Surprise, surprise. Let's see if 
we can see these packets on the wire to be able to do some debugging. And I'm on a wireless network. So we'll fire that up. Let's only look at SNMP. And we'll do a uh, Not sure what's the easiest way to do this. Let's try a get next. Okay, something looks like it popped up. Get request. We got a report. That's usually what happens when you do a request with V3. Yep, we're talking V3. If I can make this a little bit bigger. And with no engine ID. So that's essentially saying, please give me your engine ID. There's an engine ID. And then we use that. Well, the MIB browser uses that to encrypt the next one. So now in Wireshark, we don't see much that makes sense. So here's the crux of this whole video. We're going to decrypt it in Wireshark. Edit, Preferences. One of my preferences is to have things work. And we're going to go Protocols. Protocols, SNMP. Ah. Not the way I would have done it. Okay. Users table. Authentication and create decryption. That's a nice pop up. Okay, we're going to add one MD5 DES engine ID. Oh, I got to type that in. Okay. Next time. Copy. Value. Doesn't look quite all right. Well, yes, I guess that is right. I wonder what kind of format they want it in. Okay, preferences, protocols. this time. Users table, engine ID. Would oh, they take that? Hey! They did. New user. No. PC. MD5, DES is the standard one. Okay. Okay. Get next, 1.3, get response, 120. 
encrypted message. Don't let that fool you. It's in there. Encrypted PDU. And you can open it up now and say decrypted. Get response. Quest ID, no error, bar binds, object name, value 258. So, uh, you can decrypt it um, as long as you provide the user, the engine ID to uh, Wireshark. And I'm supposing that it's going to reuse that the next time I start this up to look for anybody that has that engine ID I thought they used to have in there an IP address but looks like that's changed let's try that out I don't care about the packets well maybe I'll need that again Wireshark. Start capturing Wi-Fi. SNMP. Do a description. Looks like it got it. Looks like it is using that. Uh, engine ID for anything it can independent of the IP address so that's kind of nice that at least uh, except when the machine reboots it'll have a new engine ID but at least for all of today you can do debugging with it that's it folks have a good simple networking day.